Mike Caswell here at mudskipper.com we often need to replace or modify a throttle cable to adapt an engine for our outboard systems. This video specifically addresses converting an Echo GT225 lawn trimmer to an outboard engine for a canoe or a kayak by making a longer cable than the existing one. I'm going to show you my trick for adding or replacing the nipples on brake and throttle cables using some brass tube from K&S Metals, but you could get them anywhere. You need to measure the diameter of the original nipples and find some brass or copper tubing with a similar diameter. I'm using 332nd inch and 5mm tubing in these examples. So let's see how it's done. Here I'm going to try and put this uh, nipple onto this uh, 1.2mm diameter wire uh, by soldering it on there. So I've cleaned the wire already with a wire brush and uh, degreased it. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of flux here. I'm going to dip my rod in there my, and then take a little bit of solder, hopefully. Heat it up so that it's pretty well all over it. Let's see if we can turn it over just to make sure it's everywhere. Almost there. And let's see what we have here. Solid. Nicely done. And there we are. There we are. One nipple. Well done. Now I'm going to make the uh, bigger nipple on this uh, cable. Uh, this is a five millimeter um, tube uh, that I cut off at about five millimeters long, drilled a small hole in it, which the cable is going to sit through. I set up the nipple uh, ready to put on and clamped it here. Hopefully it'll stay there while I melt some solar into it. Just keep We're just going to add a little bit more to this now because it's almost full and uh, I can get my soldering iron to melt it. There we go. Nice and easy. Just fill it up. Here's the finished job. I ran it on um, the grinder just to clean it up. Uh, filed it and uh, it's a nice job. Exactly the right size. Uh, well fused in there. No problems. Okay.